What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode, we have an almighty horde of Mughal troops to defend against. So Fabrizio Carascon is garrisoning New Orleans. We have two armies nearby, but unfortunately only one of them is able to provide support, and that's coming from Vito Spero. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a bit of uh, mixing and matching with some of these units because there's a chance that Fabrizio may end up being destroyed. So let's fight. The enemy have lots of cheap units though, so that's really in our favour. Um, but will we run out of ammunition? That's the question. Um, but if we do win, then this will be quite a significant victory for our forces in the southern US, which is incredibly important because the enemy in the northern US is starting to really firm up their opposition to us being there. But at the same time, we are invading mainland India. So uh, there is a question to be raised of how offensive do we be in the Americas? Do we uh, slowly and more conservatively advance in the Americas, but we actually focus the main effort on capturing their homeland? I think that's probably the way to go about it. There will still be big battles to be fought in the US. More glory to be bitten on. So let's take... So let's split some of our artillery up, actually. So let's take you. Okay, right, let's go like this. So one unit, two infantry. One unit two infantry then two infantry over here got another unit of guns here it's not a terrible firing position might be a bit dodgy for shrapnel shot because you can't actually get it any higher for any closer forward than that Two units here. So that leaves us with two units in reserve. Plus our cavalry. Plus our general. Plus rockets to fire at will. There's a real chance that our, cav our, our reserves may end up just being deployed on the flanks anyway. Okay, you guys definitely need to pivot in the face of this. Okay, yeah, let's get you guys in. And you guys. Sure, was all the artillery is deployed on the flank, so immediately all my guns have decided to abandoned shooting at what they would normally shoot at. But it does let my... Yeah, my rockets are just going to sit there and keep bombarding. So that's something at least. It's got a reasonable amount of overlapping fire here. So let's position our cavalry. And to be honest, this cavalry unit's gonna go for their guns. Gonna go for that unit of guns. Because they're gonna pick apart my flanks if I don't do something about it. You guys are going to get over there quickly because you've got some horsemen to take care of. There we go. So more rockets inbound or outbound. See, they are focusing on that unit of artillery that I would rather them not. Right. You guys might hit that unit of levy. You guys shrapnel shot, because shrapnel shot seems to fire faster. It's 
So then this unit here drive straight for the artillery. You guys blast those infantry that are advancing way too close to your line. The horse grenadier guards go for their light cavalry and my regiment of horse go for their field artillery. So we repelled them. My gun has run. Yeah, this is going to be dangerous. Good, now try and nail my cavalry back quickly as possible. So at least our... Uh, this flank's okay. Come on, General, let's get you involved. You guys just quick climb the levee off in the distance. The rockets can fire at whoever they like. Blast in the centre. Get the cavalry out of here. You men charge that unit of levy. You guys get back here and charge. No, foot artillery, get out of here. This regiment of horse can smash into the back of this core enemy position here. Just being levy, they should fall. There we go. Chain route, please. Seems like they, they're running through our lines. Okay, good. You hit them. They're routing. They're routing. You guys charge that last unit there. So, as far as infantry is concerned... You guys get back. Guns be damned. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay. They're broken, so you shouldn't be too bad. General's fallen. Very well. So be it. Let's get this set of guns limbered up. I need to rebalance my line. So you men need to uh, reposition like oh, you guys actually need to limber up as well. Get my rockets to try and run away. Howitzers over here as well. You guys can advance to help clear out of this infantry pocket. To be honest, I should have done more here, but I couldn't. They run this cavalry unit back, because cavalry is useful. My gunners here currently have no roll, because I can't retreat them. If I can't retreat them, I'm just going to man, make them man the guns. So these howitzers attack ground nearby. You're routing an inconvenient direction. You're not so bad. So how it says, round shot the general's bodyguard. Cavalry, nail it back. Regiment of horse, you need to get over here. You man are limber. 
No, Vito Sparrow. I don't need you. But I can't toggle the withdraw for some reason. Okay, this is really dangerous. You form square, but they're gonna come in and get you. So two enemy general units have been killed. All right, you guys halt and fire at will. So I said, like, you guys are attacking. Oh God, they're coming from everywhere. You men get in against the Zemindari horsemen. Let's bring these cuirassiers in hard and fast. Try protect this regiment of foot, which is in, which is incredibly upset about what's going on. My men are in a pocket and they're squeezing me. Oh you're, oh, you're so done. This army's so done. Setting upon us from so many different directions. So you men... Try hold for as long as you can. But the play... The real play, I think, is to uh, slowly let the army fall. Because I'm sure, I don't know if Curassier and I don't know if Curassier and elephants are a good mix. But I don't see what else I can really do. I mean, if anyone if anyone's going to have a good enough shot to do anything, it's going to be my. Yeah, you guys form up a defensive line there. You guys unlimber and get ready to blast them with canister shot. Get some heavy guns set up. Another enemy general unit has been killed. You men form square. New men charge the Tufangi there. So what's that over there? Is that all artillery? It is. Hmm. Lots of artillery all over the place. I might actually go take my... Curiosity, I need to fight. If no, if they don't fight, no one's gonna. If we don't fight, no one's gonna win. Although you guys have actually managed to, ah, you guys have managed to hold. I was going to say. The artillery do some good work at range. Don't know what chance everyone has of surviving. Yeah, you're too close to try and quick climb. At least my cuirassier in are here, here are in for a, sl a um, scrap. These men, rather than go support this combat, they're going to go and attack. No, they're not. Get involved over here as well, please. You men attack the Zimadari horsemen over on the left flank. Strong volley off. But hopefully they should do some good work. They're going to shatter them. Very well. So let's take these two weak units over here and form a 
defensive line. Let's take these two infantry units and advance up. Take my good horse artillery to hit the mounted tribal auxiliary. Let's bring my awesome cavalry over here. Are you guys... I know you're not bugged, you're just firing badly. So hopefully we can knock out the mine to tribal auxiliary, then I'll get you guys to start counter-battery work. So you guys hit that 12-pounder unit on the flank there. Form up. Okay, you guys can pick up a set of guns. Uh, they're not, no, no, those aren't yours. Oh, I don't know. Go and attack someone so that you can die and I can call in reinforcements. So you guys can... Okay, you guys hold fire. Let's prevent... To any fratricide from going. These guys are going to aim at this army over here. You guys... So they want you... Oh good, you did do some... You did clear out that gun battery. Good, continue to engage. So let's get our howitzers on the go. A great hit. Get this regiment of horse out to hit the mounted tribal auxiliary. You guys are limber. Good stuff. Okay, so now we can more directly form two distinct defensive lines with a bit of extra oomph. So now you guys are ready. You guys can now attack. See there, these guys, heavy horse artillery, these guys are absolute snipers. Boom. Look at that. Okay, right. I think they're coming for us. So... My cavalry need to... Some of my units need to stick around to protect my... <laughs> to protect my actual... Uh, heavy hitters. So that does mean I need to retarget some of my quick climb. You hit the pikes, because they'll, they'll be, that'll be very bad if they get involved. Good, my horse, heavy horse guard artillery has done some good work over against this force, and I think that's then done. So then you guys are going to limber up. And then you guys advance alongside this potent force here. You guys pivot to face down that unit of bowmen. You guys advance to also help. So what I mean by re what I mean by redeploy is I want to deploy them to I foresee a bit of a problem here potentially. If I get these guys firing to the right, they might cause a bit of fratricide. So where's that? unit here, get you guys to push up and support these attacks, hopefully you guys push away the bowmen there we go, now you guys are in a better position because you guys can actually fight now we can angle to the right and attack those men there. 
If those pikemen get into position, that will be bad. Seamen pivot. Let's bring a stronger unit over here as well. The howitzer unit, we don't we don't really need, but they've given it to us. Oh, they're bringing in more troops from that flank. Right when I didn't want them to. Yeah, the artillery is gone. So you guys bombard the levy coming in. You men get over here. Help out that force of Curacier. You guys run over to help support the line that's now about to get smacked. So you guys actually just quick climb the ground on the axis of advance. You guys quick climb whoever you can get really. That's the position we're in right now. So now the howitzer just sit there and limber up. You men pivot. It's another unit of bowmen. So let's bring my general in. Actually, you guys. Quick climb that unit of bowmen. Good. It's like a bit of a self-defense quick climb we've got going on here. Okay, you guys hit a pikeman on the left. General's fallen. Is that is that Vito Spero? No, it is Vito. No, he had to be committed to the fight. He had to be. We couldn't. We couldn't leave him. It's a lot of enemy troops. We are holding. We are holding. Okay, you guys advance, because I don't think you can actually hit the auxiliary from extended range. You guys also advance. Let's assume these guys can deal with the pikemen. Yeah, they're coming in. Okay, so let's pivot you guys. So... Quick climbing. You guys focus on them. Let's assume the cuirassier can deal with that bowman. There we go. You charge pikemen and that's them done. Hopefully for good. But let's advance you guys down. To be honest, this unit. Oh, I can't. For whatever reason, I can't. Oh, it's because it's a um, city battle. It's not a battlefield battle we don't actually lose if that makes sense not in the same way excellent hits there from the quick climbing artillery so that you guys attack ground short of the target because you should do a bit more damage there You men counter charge that unit of levy. You guys come back. You men. There we go. Let's get all of our artillery to bombard this flank that's now pushing. Although it looks like. Well, let's assume that, that army's been defeated. We can now. Bring in the reinforcements. Charge the levy. Don't let them get in. So they've all been pushed back. This unit of infantry can push up and help. You guys hit the bowmen in the rear. These cuirassiers get them over here to fight the bowmen.
good. The levy have been pushed back there. You men advance. They've all been pushed back. Gag! Units. Very well. These two units form up. Ah, same. Same across the board. just might have to actually chase them down for a while to make sure they die. 24 pounder howitzer, aim for that unit of Tufangi. Fire by rank. Fire by rank, damn you. Take him out. Can't allow them to come back. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. You may not be enough to take out that unit of Tufangi. You men fill in this gap. Swiss Pikes. If there's a unit I, a unit I want to see the most, it's Swiss Pikes. So, let's get our heavy horse guard artillery to work on the counter-battery side. Oh, it's like we've lost a gun. But these men are focusing on the artillery that's entering the field to the rear. And you guys might have to switch to round shot as well. So then... You guys just attack ground roughly where they are, where they come in from. A horseman coming in, another general's been killed. Some of our units are looking very poorly. The general's bodyguard is shattered. So you men just reload. Keep reloading as you can pour shots into the flank of the infantry unit. Let's charge. It's going to really help from a morale perspective. Although there's always a time where you have to then commit. Good, I think this flank's... the far flank is sorted, so you guys run across and get into rock and roll. Send our infantry over to attack the bowmen. More units coming in. So let's bring these infantry these infantry units across to join the battle immediately. Okay, let's get our on-field artillery here just to keep firing at the right sort of places. You guys hit the bowmen. There we go, more infantry support. Our infantry is, is very upset at what's happened. But we should be doing an absolute boatload of damage to them, which means that we can push up our infantry line. My Swiss pikes have a go at the horsemen. To be honest, it's at the point now where it's like, just throw them in. If they rout, we'll get more men back. Those guys are all routing, which is excellent. I had a bit suddenly panicked. Okay, you guys are limber. You guys bombard the enemy. There we go. You guys charge on into the levee. Commit. Get stuck in, fellas. Duck in. Winning decisively against the bowmen. Still got more men coming in. 
To be honest, this could do a lot of good. We just charge one unit into the rear of that formation there. The Swiss pikes are cleaving their way through the levee as my cavalry come in to provide a bit more support. So my limbered up artillery, let's get them up onto this ridge line. So they're all, they're gone. So hopefully that is the end of that line. Good. The enemy's morale is breaking on this front. So my pikemen just have to hold on because they are on the receiving end of a whole bunch of enemy fire. You guys all attack the levy. Okay, let's go for some delicate quick climbing. Attack ground quick climbing. So I want to go right here. I don't want to attack into the combat. So you guys, if you can reload like that, yes. Because that's nowhere near my guys. I mean, if I might hit the retarget there if I could. My grenadiers are reloaded. So they're firing into the combat. All you Pokemon have to do is stay alive. You'll fix them. Fix them into position. You guys are all attacking the levy. This unit of levy, which is sticking around pretty well. Okay, let's retarget. Again, start dropping shell. Start dropping the quick claim in general in front of our line. Artillery back here. You can shoot at the foot artillery. Yeah, there we go. So you can see what's what's happening just from me. I'm not attacking their. I'm not attacking their lines with my quick climb. I am actually. I'm attack grounding nearby. So you men up here. You want to go a bit further forward. That's a mass retreat, though. Come on, if you guys could knock out those levy pretty quick, you could help really turn the tide here. General's bodyguard, pursue a unit of levy. Curassier also pursue a unit of levy. All these tiny units keep pursuing the keep pursuing the um, the routing troops so that we can well we make sure they leave they don't just come back these levy have run around to try and either flank our main line or to support this combat but you can see that it is it is it is worthless to resist Okay. Phew. Okay, okay, okay. Drive into the levee. My cuirassiers have done spectacularly well. I could throw them into... Okay, I don't know why you guys didn't chase them down. I mean, native bowmen auxiliary have stuck around. Levy unit's going to be awfully sore when they realise what's going to happen. Yeah, you are routing good stuff. No, route into them. Don't run down the hill. Look at that. Nice one, Empire AI. <laughs> Oof. Charge the last unit of bowmen. Cease fire artillery fire. God, oh, this got ugly real fast. But it was, it is a victory. And this shows you the, the part of the reason why you definitely want quick line late game. I mean, you guys might think I'm. 
treating it as a bit of a crutch, but there are definitely times where it's like, no, if I didn't have it, I'd, I'm, I'd lose. <laughs> and lose badly. But there we go. As we sink the bayonets in against the bowmen. Whoa. Okay, so there's one last unit of, of artillery. Nope, they've routed as well. Phew. My god. Most of my guys don't even have ammo. Close victory. It was close, but it was still a victory. But we paid the almighty price with the loss of Vito Spero. He fell. And it looks like we lost an artillery unit, most likely. But there we go. We deployed 5,000 against 20... Well, nearly 6,000 against nearly 27,000. Their number has been cut in half. But yes. Back you devils go. <laughs> yep, we need to just keep recruiting troops out of Louisiana now. Because we will not be able... Well, we can't afford to... Uh, we can't afford to let them keep wearing us down. So I might have to merge a bunch of my units together. Yep. Don't worry, India. We're making our way down through Persia. We will make it to your territory. We're not going to uh, give up. So let's see. Reagan Corland. So let's get you. Pick some town, you know, in the middle of India. Pick Bujain. Construction. Are still on your way to the coast or to the border of the north northern plains peoples okay commercial basin in malta commercial basin in iceland iron workshops in finland and let's upgrade these in persia but yeah it's a whole Bunch of troops are on their way. Oh, see? So this happens sometimes, but they lose all their commands. So they're all... Actually, no, maybe they're not all doing it. Maybe I'm just being dumb. But armies like this guy. Get on to Zahedin. You need to push. Right. So. Michel Contarini. You want to be co... Uh, you're actually going to go to the south. You're going to go south of this mountain range so that when we hit this Mughal force, it will push them east. We do have... Well, let's get some of these guys to actually go here so we can try and land them off of the coast. Everyone, it looks like... It looks like largely everyone else has orders. It's all just a bit of a mess. Give you orders to attack Zahedin. So you've got orders. We are going to declare war on Afghanistan. Um, everyone. So everyone largely has orders, except for some of the odd units like this guy. Okay, get to the border. It's going to take a few turns. Can you guys leave Ardabil? You can. You can. Okay, let's give you an order just to run straight through to Narun. Let's repair the Iron Master's Forge. You're replenishing. You're replenishing. Let's hop over to the Americas. So. Our forces are strong in paper, if not in name. Okay, good. We are churning out two infantry units per turn, but it's not going to be enough. So I want to try and combine 12 pound a foot, 24 pound. Okay, right. I was wondering, why aren't they merging? Okay, so you guys pull out of Norlands. Hey, Vito was injured. He wasn't dead. You guys are also going to reinforce. You take position inside the city. So continue to replenish. 
And what we're going to want to do is institute a bit of an emergency emergency troop transfer campaign to get you guys over to here. There we go. So let's get you guys over. Good stuff. Actually, I could do with one of you guys going to Vito's army. Just to make sure he is... I've got some crazy elite howitzers, although weirdly they've, they've bugged out again to become super howitzers. Okay, same with Jamaica. Let's start to churn out some troops. Obviously, you guys are still replenishing when we need you. Everyone else is occupied. Obviously, you're an army that got smashed, so actually you're just trying to rebuild your strength as well. So there's a Mughal stack within range there. Your defensive... You guys are replenishing Fort Nashwack. You guys keep replenishing... Could maybe go for Falmouth. Because enemy strength here isn't actually that significant. Especially when we've got... Well, you can recruit four more units of infantry. And that's another force ready. So then let's recruit another... Just keep recruiting and keep... Well, we can't upgrade any more of the forces in Quebec. We can't upgrade any of the buildings in Quebec, I should say. So now you are a good fighting force, G Girolamo Pico. So, you men, so best resource I'm pretty sure is spices, yeah, by some margin. Pretty sure we've got a fleet going out there though, so let's get you over to the East Africa Trade Theatre. Heavy firsts, seconds. So you're still recruiting ships to join your force. And they're all coming from there. I think those ships bring you up to full strength. So let's get you guys over to South America. Let's get a load of our trade ports working on column of fourth rates to occupy trade zones. Let's hop back to India. Because you are now ready to begin contributing to the liberation of the continent. So you advance to this crossing. You are obviously replenishing. As a you down here. Let us build another army down south. Let's take our this army, this navy to just go auto theirs. Kablamo. Damn. So they've got somewhere off to the east. I doubt we'll be able to see them. No. So you guys better go up there and hit this uh, this army, this navy up here. Cause it's got it's got quite a large army on it, so it would be worthwhile to just knock it out. So you guys make port back in the port of Calcutta. And Calcutta itself is going to start churning out fourth rates to maintain our blockade. But yeah, they've got a lot of a lot of troops on the field. So you guys are our ships are getting ready to transport men down to the front line. 
You are recruiting four more units of infantry, then you'll be done. Sweet. Workers on strike in the Northwest Territories. Not anymore. Workers on strike in Bengal. Not anymore. And... Agent executed Nicola Costa in Nerun. Finally found him. Fabrizio Caras Caraxon. You know, that's a guy that that we lost. Um, let's say... Let's take an infantry officer from the Horse Grenadier Guards. Gianni Casanova. Good. So you guys replenish... Patna. Oh, can't destroy it. So we're, but we're not stuck with um, clamor for reform because the uh, university is damaged, or maybe because it's, it's occupied by enemy troops. I don't know. But Calcutta is ready to withstand an attack. You guys might actually march here. So I would like to take Cuttack, but it's not got any defenses. So we need to do that pretty quick. Yeah, if you guys were, would replenish, that'd be great. But I think all we can do is hit end turn, give all my armies another turn of marching or running up to the Indian front line. Because that's where... This is where we're at. We, we have a lot of troops in a very good position to just bust open the, the Indian front line. Now it's just a problem of getting them all there. You can just see all these armies we've got. There's a northern route and there's a southern route. And we are blocking them up significantly, attempting to get troops to the front. But it is a necessary evil. Hopefully, over time, if we can blockade their entire American coast, blockade the entire continental India coast... We could actually do some really significant damage to their economy, and they might actually start to lose the ability to fund uh, sending another army, a stack of troops. Oh, fortunately though, Fidelis Scapan is in good nick, and all of these guys, or nearly all of them, are depleted. This first army should go fairly quickly. The second one's got some troops that should fall to bits. Yeah, same again. So let's mix up. Okay, let's get the strongest infantry units in first. Backed up by some cavalry. And all these guns can just stay away. We're not even getting Vito Sparrow's reinforcing army. Um, but the numbers, you know, it's, it's a force half the size what we previously fought. So we should be okay. Let's repel them once again at New Orleans. And we can just try and steadily, ever so steadily, um, build up our strength. I mean, it's going to take some time. Like, the force that's in Curacao that's refitting needs to deploy there. And I wish I could recruit more troops out of Montreal. But we can't. So there's a risk we might get thrown off the continent to the south. So again, we're in the same position. So, knowing what we now know... One gun face straight ahead. One gun faced off to one flank. With some backup. Let's see, your repair, your repair. Ah, all my... All my elite infantry are going to be on the same flank. Okay, you guys haven't been committed. So let's put... My riflemen up front, they're just going to put... Their job is to put down stakes and then fall back. That's going to be their job. We can have one howitzer facing one direction, one howitzer facing another direction... Obviously got the same cavalry block as we had last time. General in the centre. One spare unit of guards. Nope. Don't 
bombard the cavalry. Don't bombard their artillery alone. So, the left hand... It's a great artillery shot against that horseman. So the left hand gun focus on units on the left, the right hand gun focus on units on the right. Let's make sure we recall our skirmishes. It does give us a bit of a lack of troops straight ahead. I've got one gun that can pound the 12 pounders. The rest can just work on softening up the enemy. You could actually deal with that unit of horsemen. You might actually, should really, be shrapnel shotting. Because they're well within range and that's a good shot for shrapnel. You guys try. Okay, they're charging. They're probably not going to get there. Yeah, my guns are exposed at the front. Actually, let's fire shrapnel. I think shrapnel has a better morale effect. Missed some of them. Yeah, they can go for a horseman if they like. That central gun team. So once they've left the guns, you guys drop into square. They've not actually left their guns. One guy flew all the way back. Let's bring our guards in. You men both drop into square. You guys now shrapnel shot. Those units that advance you guys up. We need to be ready to fold our line back once re enemy reinforcements start coming in, because we know what direction they're probably going to be in. Yeah, you guys can fire at will. It's not a great position, but actually, no, don't worry about it. Just charge the, the levy yourself. So have I got a Curiosier Regiment of Horse? Has to shot the bowman. You guys can to shot these guys at point blank range. Riflemen cease fire. Let's get my cavalry in the mix. Regiment of horse snipe the guns. So because they're my spikes, it shouldn't hurt them. Oh no, the elephants have got involved. Okay, so get you guys over here. You guys just cease fire. I don't know where the reinforcements are going to come in from. I suspected they would do something similar to how they fought last time, but I don't think they are now. Those elephants getting in here, that's a real blow. There we go. So now I can get my cavalry up and across into the fight. So where's my cuirassier? I want to get my cuirassier up here because they they do they can deal with enemy elephants pretty well, and it's a general's bodyguard. So what's not to like about that? You guys should be shaken. You've got heavy cavalry on your doorstep. Okay, 
Okay, you guys pivot. You guys are going to face the right way. General's bodyguard, General's bodyguard. You're clearing out the heavy horse, the Zemendari horsemen to the rear. You guys will take care of that bowman. Alright, everyone against the General's bodyguard. He's the one I don't like the most in this engagement. I don't like how you're... You guys fight the bowman. I think the regiment of horse might die. There's two General's bodyguard units here. They're going to do some real damage unless we can clear them out. But at least our reinforcements are coming in from a better location. Now, light infantry, fire! Cease fire. So, killed an enemy general. Ideally, it looks like they're actually coming in from the best position we could expect. So, that general unit is routing. So you, in this infantry, can actually line up and engage the enemy from a in a good direction, from a good direction. You got another enemy general's fallen. So you guys can limber up, and we can actually form more of a coherent line. Let's advance my. Light infantry up. There we go. Good. Ah, obviously they immediately just charge us. Let's limber up these guns. Okay, let's start just quick climb the infantry as they advance. New men push up to the center. Got to make every round count. Yeah, thankfully you guys are fire it well off. I mean, I'm abandoning my handy dandy um, my handy dandy spikes position but it's chiefly because I don't really need it anymore. Now I know the direction the reinforcement's coming in from and it's actually a good direction. You got one set of guns up on the hill. So the horsemen are going to chase us down. So let's get our cuirassier over here. Along with us. Get all of our cavalry over here. There we go. Push back that unit of levy. Will off. This cavalry counter charge. You guys limber up. You guys want to haul you guys up to the top. Switch to round shot to engage the bowmen at longer range. Okay, the cavalry did. The cavalry did retreat. So we can try and chew up the shoot of bowmen. But overall... I think this position is probably a better position... ...than we were in previously. Good, you guys withdraw. Charge our cavalry in. We need you guys to set up pretty rapidly. Light foot run away.
retarget the infantry my guns at the rear up here you guys can actually just come back here and act normal you guys switch to round shot and begin to shoot at their don't shoot at the units that have only got one set of guns because that's actually not it's not bad they've only got one set of guns there. So I want I would rather have their weak units in the field than than their full strength ones. Hit that unit of levy that's coming in. So what I'm hoping happens is that we get their I mean I know they're skirmish cavalry, but I'm hoping they decide to charge in. So if I get my riflemen give them fire at will orders they should hopefully do a real number on this cavalry before it hits the spikes at all cavalry get back light infantry get back good hit the spikes so they're doing a real number on our cavalry You guys hit them, you guys hit them. And you guys... How many guns are you firing? Oh no, one fewer now. Very well. This regiment of horse. Deploy. use them to try and destroy some of their gun team. It's going to take a bit of doing. It's going to take a bit of fancy footwork. Yeah, those horsemen shouldn't exist for very long. I mean, they're going to be going backwards and forwards. I mean, we might lose some of our cavalry to bow fire. worth the risk if we can manage to snake them through the lines nah send all my actual cavalry into the mix the Zamando horsemen here are pushing in again drawing in far too much ammo it's a great hit on the Tufangi there I mean, your ammo states are all... they're okay. It's, a crit it's of critical importance that I knock out these... enemy guns, and that does mean avoiding these combats, because they've headed me off of the levee. you get hit by my... What? Were you aiming at them? Oh, God damn it. Very well. Good. Quick climb hit. You guys hit the 12 pounders. You guys run around these guys and hit the 12 pounders. Yeah, they're engaging me with their own infantry. I'm assuming everything over there is going okay. general down here because the levy came back and hit my 
Ah, you guys book it. You guys try knock out that last. Okay, book it. Book it, book it, book it. The levy are in on us again. We're bringing up another infantry unit in support. Yeah, lost our light cavalry and our heavy cavalry is not looking in great shape after being under fire from the bowmen. Let's have another regiment of foot advancing. Oh no, this isn't good. Oh no, this really isn't good. Deploy the reserves. You men both attack them. Good, charge the levy. You guys hit the two fangy. We're probably getting hit on the left flank. Oh, yeah, we aren't. That's not bad. You guys attack ground here. You guys hit. Hit the right flank. You guys need to run and form up. They're engaging my riflemen with their cavalry. Unfortunately, they are about to run into my squares, run into my my um spikes. So we should they should lose a good number of their number there. Yeah, you guys deploy square. Guard mode, hit the native auxiliary. Again, they just launched another wave of two fangy. I think this might be it. We don't have we don't have the overall strength. These engineers have just gone down. No, we don't have the strength. We'll give it a good go. But our... Our time is done. Louisiana will fall to the enemy. simply due to the fact that we're not going to have well too many of our men are too far away to actually help like you guys might attack ground quick climb right there but yeah fundamentally too many of our men are just well we're too weak we're too weak getting mobbed it's just too much to charge on into the enemy here. Charge on into that bowman, then charge on. Just charge on. So who's that there? That's a horseman unit coming in. General speed up. So you guys come in, should clear out the native musketmen on that flank. Charge on into the bowman again. There's a chance we can actually earn a bit of respite if, if we can make enough of them rout at once that they they, they just have to, uh, they can't cover the distance between the edge of the map and come back at any, in any amount of time. Go on men, fire. Yeah, 
falling away like bits of wet cake. You men also get involved there. You men advance and form the new line. Form the new front line. There we go. So where's the general? You guys, charge the native bowman auxiliary. She charged the two fangy. And you guys reload and engage the native bowman auxiliary there. Oh god. Our new front line. Yeah, the general's dead immediately. You men reload and pour fire into the native bowman auxiliary there. These men are having to try to repel such massive enemy attacks. And there's not anything we can do about it. You guys are seemingly bugged. Fire at will, hopefully, will change that. These units stuck in. Obviously, Quicklime is just no. Quicklime is of no real use to us anymore. Because we need to actually fire it. Well, we need to get. I don't know, actually. It might help. If I don't directly charge those units, I can get. Run this general's bodyguard along through the jaws of death here to try hit the bowman in the rear. You guys counter charge the native bowman auxiliary. You have charged my light infantry. My general hit the bowmen here that are weak. They're broken, so run into them. You guys counter charge there. This cavalry run over here quickly. You guys might have to try and blast this fight with canister shot, because right now you're they're all what's holding everything together. I can't work out if the end of the end of the battle is nigh. You men all fight this last bow unit. You guys form up to, well, form up like this. Cavalry sprinting in as fast as they can. So got you guys attacking ground nearby. You men charge onto that large combat. You guys actually then switch to round shot we never got rid of that artillery i am curious though if we have actually cleared them out good get my general's bodyguard unit out of there so the regiment of horse here should hopefully clear out the native bow auxiliary general's bodyguard knock out that 12 pound of foot it's currently doing nothing over on the hill you men form back you guys form line there. No, you guys carry on the fight against the 12 pounder. My cavalry chop up these native Bowman auxiliary into luncheon meat. It might actually be it. Maybe. Just maybe. Might have been mad enough to get away with it. Maybe. Yeah, that's the native bowmen dealt with. Let's get you guys on the march. You guys should hopefully knock out this artillery by it yourself. Yeah, they're making another charge. Okay, 
and sadly we can't tell the howitzers to go away. So let's use you to go after the... Where did the gunners go? There they are. You men charge the gunners on because it looks like we've cleared out the line. We might actually have done it. These are ours. These are our spikes. Good God, we need more men. We need so many more men. This is... We're not going to hold on for very long if they throw too many more attacks like this at us. Quick climb. Attack that unit of bowmen. Although they're probably a shade too close. Well, I think that that is it. I don't think they're bringing in any more any more troops there goes the unit of bowmen I think I think we might have done it I was so sure and I was like now nah, we're done like, we can't stop them continue our cavalry position is quite weak as it is but we have to at least try to remove some of the enemy's <laughs> the enemy's numbers. But yeah, our cavalry is quite weak. What? Well, how did you die? None of my artillery is firing. Oh, well. Oh, well. Apologies, Mr. Scapan. You guys both attack that unit there. You guys keep trying to attack them. Ah, shame about the general. I'm not quite sure what killed him because my artillery isn't firing, and these this artillery isn't even in position. And unless they've got unless they, they had some spikes over here, but I haven't didn't see any. Ah, yeah, it's another close victory, and my god, they are making me pay. So we lost two and a half thousand men, they lost nearly ten thousand. Back you go. But there's still plenty more stacks on the horizon. You can see them coming in. This is why we just need to keep ferrying units over to the uh, to the mainland. That's even more coming. Oh god alive. Sorry boys. I think this is it. I don't think we're gonna beat them. So let's oh, see all our infantry up front. Yeah, they that might be enough to knock out our garrison and this army here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, fifteen. That might be enough to knock out this army and this army. Should we lose, then this force under Vito, who is still alive, will be withdrawn. And the southern attack will have been judged a failure. But there's so many troops, my God. <laughs> Rightio. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time for potentially the, the loss that I've been trying to prevent for the last hour and nearly 20 minutes. Rightio. Cheers, everyone.